Hello everybody, welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about socket programming in Python. Okay, so without a further ado, let's start. So the question is that what is socket programming in Python? So the idea is that socket programming is a way of connecting two nodes basically, or you can say two sockets on a network to communicate with each other. Okay. So one socket or one node, it basically listens uh, on a particular port at an IP address while other socket, it reaches out to the other to form a connection. All right. So server, basically they form the listener socket while the client, they basically uh, reaches out to the server. Okay. So if we talk about the servers, they basically form the listener socket while the clients, they basically reach out to the server. So they are basically the real backbones behind web browsing. Um, and in simpler terms, there is a server and there is a client. Okay. And the connection between them would be done using the socket programming. Okay. Or the socket. So let's go ahead and let's try to uh, right here a simple program in which we would just try to con uh, connect to the uh, server okay so what we would do first of all uh, we'd open up a text file okay so i'll just go here in my text editor and to name it as a python script what i have to do that i would click on this save button and I would just add here the extension. So first of all, I would click on desktop here because that's where I want to save this file. And now I would name it. So let's say I name it as server.py, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to save it. And when I save it, um, now this is basically a Python file and inside here I can basically write the code, okay? So, now uh, let's say that if we want to connect to a server um, let's say we want to connect to facebook server or youtube server or maybe google server it all depends upon you all right so you can connect to any of the um, uh, server that you want to okay so first of all what you have to do is that you have to import the socket library okay so this now uh, what you would do after importing it what would happen is that you'd be able to use all the built-in classes uh, which are basically already made for you in this socket library and um, if you don't import socket it is probably going to give you an uh, error so now what we're going to do is that we're going to import here uh, sys and now we're going to come to the next line and here we are basically going to uh, have a try and accept block. If you are familiar with Java or other programming languages, in those programming languages you have try and catch block, okay? So this is the same thing here. Uh, here we just have the difference of the keyword. Uh, instead of catch, you have your accept. So basically uh, we are going to use a block in which we're gonna try a piece of code. And if it doesn't work out, uh so if it doesn't work out then what we're going to do is that we are going to basically uh catch an exception and we're going to throw an error okay so first of all what we do would write here try and then we'd write here uh, a colon we come to the next line and make sure that you have done a true indentation in your python code because if you haven't done true indentation uh, it would probably give you an error okay so now uh, if we save it right now you can see that the colors have changed right so it is a python script basically so inside the try cache block what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have a variable here let's call this variable soc let is let let us put it equal to um, socket dot uh, socket and then inside of here we are going to pass two arguments one is going to be uh, socket dot uh, af underscore inet okay and then we're going to put a comma here and then we're going to write here socket dot um, 
s o c k and then underscore stream all right so after writing that uh, then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have a print statement here okay so the idea is that um, this method here which is uh, essentially socket what it does that it takes two arguments okay so if we talk about the first parameter which is essentially uh, af underscore uh, i net it basically uh, it refers to the address family which is essentially ipv4 okay so we have two address fa address families here like um, ipv4 and ipv6 and here this af underscore i net it represents the ipv4 family the other um, argument that we have is the sock stream and it means that the uh, we have the connection oriented tcp protocol it, it represents that basically okay so what we're going to do is that we are going to try it okay so after trying it uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to write here um, let me just write here print okay so we write here print and we print here uh, socket um, socket has been created okay and if it doesn't happen for some reason um, if if we get an error what we're gonna do is that we basically catch an error okay so for that what we would do would write here accept okay and then we write here socket dot uh, error here and then we write here as error and then we put a colon here and after putting a colon uh, what we're gonna do is that we're going to print here let me write here uh, socket has not been created or socket uh, was not created okay something like that you can write here whatever you want so the main thing is that you have to deliver a message that socket was not created or it was like failed or something so now what we are going to do is that uh, the default port uh, for socket is the port 80 and we also recommend you to use that so for that what we're going to do let's say we define a variable here named as port and we basically keep it equal to let's say 80 okay so it means that we have the port 80 and now what we are going to do is that we are going to try to connect to um, the let's say google or maybe let's say facebook host okay so what we are going to do is that now we're going to have another try cache block here so just write here try and so now what we're going to do is that we are going to get the IP address of uh, the server, okay, that we're trying to connect to. So we're going to write here socket, then we're going to write here dot, and after that we're going to write here get host by name, okay, and after that. Uh, we're gonna pass here uh, the website or the address where we want to go so let's say we want to go www dot let's say facebook dot com okay so now what we're gonna do is that we are gonna put it equal to some variable so that we can use it whenever we want okay so we can write here let's say server okay underscore ip maybe because this is the ip right so now what we are going to do is that we are going to have a you know an accept block uh, to catch the exception if there is any so we write here accept then we write here socket dot g a i error and then we write here a colon here and now what we do is that uh, we write here basically a print statement uh, it means now this print statement we need to write here which would basically say that uh, we were not able 
uh, to connect to the server okay so what we can do here is that we can write here print and then we write here we were not able to connect to the server okay so now we have done that and now after that you want to exit it okay we don't want our code to run anymore so we just want to exit it okay so this sys dot exit it would basically exit the program so if that has been uh, successful then what we want to do is that we want to connect to the server um, on our default port which is essentially 80 okay so what we can do is that we can write here soc which is the basically the socket uh, variable up there on the top and using it what we're going to do is that we're going to write here uh, connect and after that what we are going to do is that we're going to pass here the server ip all right and server underscore ip and then we're going to put here a comma and then we're going to write here port okay so once we have done that so now what we are going to do is that we are going to write here print and we are going to write here uh, the socket has been connected to Facebook okay and then we can write here uh, the port and we can write here the IP address of the server as well we can print it out and then we're gonna write here on um, address equals then we're gonna write here percentage s maybe and after that uh, we're gonna write here percentage and then we're gonna write here the server underscore uh, excuse me server underscore IP all right so now we so now what we would do um, after doing a little bit indentation um, we would just simply save it okay and after that we'd press ctrl alt t we'd open up our terminal and inside here we'd, we need to go to our desktop because that's where our, our file resides and our file name is essentially server.py so in order to run a python file what you would do you just write here python and then you'd write here server.py you hit enter and you can see that it says that the socket has been uh, created successfully and we have successfully connected to the Facebook on address 157.240.13.35 okay so that's how you basically create a socket and then you can basically connect to the socket uh, and the server and then you can specify the address uh, where you have connected as well okay so in the code if we talk about first of all we have created a socket all right and after creating a socket we have uh, basically uh, resolved the, the facebook ip address okay and then basically we have connected uh, to the socket and then we have basically simply printed it out okay the address specifically okay so that was very simple so now let's go ahead and now let's write a simple server client program and let's see that how we actually um, do that okay how we uh, connect the uh, client and the server okay so for that probably we'd use uh, the bind and the listen methods which are built-in methods okay so first of all uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna remove all of that uh, we just gonna need socket library so what we would do uh, we'd create a socket object here first of all so we just write here soc we write here equal sign and then after writing the equal sign uh, we're gonna write here socket dot socket okay so now uh, we have created an object and on the next line uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna write here let me just write here print 
and we'll write here socket created all right so after the socket has been created now what i want to do that i want to specify a port and let's say that i want to put that port equal to um three two one maybe so you can like have here any port you want okay so let's say i have three two one four and make sure that there are not already processes running on that port uh, because otherwise it is going to cause an error okay so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to bind uh, to the port okay so would not type any of the ip address um, and obviously if we are not typing uh, any IP address this would make the server listen okay so um, it would listen to the requests that are coming from the uh, or from the on the network from other computers okay so now what we're going to do is that we are going to write here a simple method using the socket object so we'd write here uh, soc then we write here dot and then we write here bind okay so bind is a method that we're using here so now uh, in here we leave the ip address of the server empty and then uh, we are going to write here the port uh, which is essentially 3214 or you can write here the variable you can say okay so after writing the port what you're going to do is that you're going to write here uh, a print statement again so we just write here print and then we say that socket was binded to the port and then we write here uh, percentage s for string um, and then after that we come out of the double quotes and in here we write here percentage and then we write here port okay percentage is basically a sign here only okay so it's a part of a syntax all right so now what we're going to do is that we are going to put the socket into the listening mode okay so what we do we we'll just write here um, soc uh, which is the socket object and then we write here listen and then inside here we write three okay so now what this line means is that um, for example if the server receives one request uh, it would connect to it and other than one request it can accept two requests um, so it would put the other two requests on wait and if the request is request number four then it would simply reject it okay it would put it away so the most requests the server can handle they are three okay so if i would put here 10 let's say then it can accept 10 requests one it would be working on and other nine it would put on wait and if the requests are more than 10 uh, it would reject them okay so we'll just keep it three here i hope you've got the concept and after that uh, what we can do is that we can write here a print statement just to mark it that um, server uh, is listening right now okay and then what we can do is that we can come to the next line and here we can run a forever until loop um, and we try to interrupt it if any sort of error error occurs okay so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna write here while true it is basically a boolean so it runs until and unless basically uh, you know it doesn't become false this loop will run okay so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try to uh, establish the connection with the client so for that what we would do would just simply write here and remember this is the code that we are writing here this is a server code okay so the client code we have to write it yet okay so in server we have a bind method uh, which basically uh, is here that we have used so this method uh, it binds 
to a specific IP and port so that it can listen to incoming requests on the IP and port okay so a server also has a listen method which we have also used and I've explained to you that what it does okay it also have an accept method that we are going to use and it also has a close method as well and I'm going to tell you that what each of them um, does okay so if we talk about accept method it initiates a connection with the client and if we talk about the close method it closes the connection with the client okay so right now what do you think we need to do in the while loop we need to initiate a connection with the client okay so what we would do we would just write here c uh, for client and then we write here comma and then we obviously need the ip address so we just write here ip underscore addr um, and then what we can do is that we can write here equal sign and then we can write here socket or soc the socket object and then we can write here accept okay so now this would initiate the connection and now we can basically print out that we have got the connection so we would write here simply uh, print in fact we can actually um, yeah right here we can uh, indent it in a better way so that it is clear and there are no doubts so we just write here print and indentation in python is very important so make sure that you indent the code really well so, so now we can write here that we are connected to and then we can write here a comma and then we can write here ip underscore adr so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna come to the next line here and in here we're gonna basically um, send a message a positive message in which we can validate that uh, the connection to the server has been made so what we can do is that we can have here a thank you message thank you thanks you are now connected okay to the server okay so you basically it means client okay so we can write here client so now what we need to do is that we need to come to the next line and we want to close this okay so we just simply close our connection to the client and we are all done so uh, yeah uh, now what we're gonna do is that we are going to run this um, and we're going to validate if our server is working or not okay then we'll basically uh, write a client side program okay so before we start that first of all uh, we have imported let me explain to you the code first of all we have imported uh, the socket which was necessary because we have to perform uh, socket related functions so then we basically have created an object of the socket and then we have printed it out that the socket has been created so now uh, we have passed an empty string here um, with the bind method so now here we we want to bind to our server to to a specific port which is 3214 and passing an empty string here it means essentially that the server can listen to incoming connections from other computers as well okay i've explained that to you uh, before so for example if we would have passed uh, a local host address or 127.0.0.1 then it would have listened to only those uh, basically only those uh, calls that have been made made within the local computer okay so right now we have we are leaving it empty so it would listen to um, all the requests coming from uh, all the computers on the same network okay so after that uh, we have put the server in the listening mode so three here it means that uh, three connections are kept waiting if the server is busy and if a fourth connection tries to connect then the connection uh, is basically cancelled okay or it has been refused so finally we make a while loop and in this while loop 
basically we start to accept all the incoming connections and we close those connections after a simple message which is a thanks message okay so now what we need to do uh, we need a server uh, with which we can interact if we are a client right so what we can do is that we can use a telnet command to figure out if our server is working or not so for that what we would do uh, we'd open up our terminal and uh, we, we go here we try to run our uh, server.py so let me just save it first okay make sure you have saved it and then um, you go ahead you try to run your python server.py and you can see that it says socket created socket was binded to the port 3214 server is listening right now okay so if our server is working or not how do we know that we just simply write uh, open here another terminal by pressing Control alt t okay and after that what we're going to do is that we are going to write here a telnet command so write here telnet and then we write here localhost and then we write here the port number which is essentially 3214 okay oh excuse me uh, let me just write here telnet and then we write here localhost then we write here 3214 we hit enter and now you can see that it is basically trying connected to the local host thanks you're now connected to the server connection closed okay so basically uh, in short our server is working perfectly okay so we need not to worry about it so we just basically close our terminal we can close it and now we need to write a client side program okay so this is the essential part of the socket programming that you have to have a client side as well so for the client side what we are going to do is that we're going to have we're going to have a new uh, text file um, which we would save it as client.py so we go to our desktop here and we're going to save it as uh, client.py okay so basically we click on the save button and in here first of all we import the socket okay uh, as we have always uh, done in this video so we just write here import socket and after that uh, we're gonna write here uh, we're gonna create a socket object okay as we have done in the server.py so we just write here soc equals and then we write here socket dot socket okay and after creating the object what we are going to do is that we are going to define a port in on which we are going to connect and that is essentially i think it is 3214 yes so that is make sure that the port is the same port okay so you cannot type here a different port number and then try to connect and then obviously you will mess it up and you uh, you won't be able to connect to the server then so make sure that the port number is exactly the same okay so now what we will do we'll write here port and then we write here uh, 3214 I guess yes 3214 and then we come to the next line and now we try to connect uh, on the local computer to the server okay so what we would do we we'll just write here the socket object we use it we write here soc dot connect and in here now we are going to pass here the exact ip address of the local host or we can just simply write here local host okay so if you remember that in the case of the server we uh, left it empty okay so something like this we put a gamma here and then we write here port okay so it was like that essentially uh, in the case of the uh, server so now in the case of the client we want to connect to the server so we have on the local computer so we have to be specific so we write here localhost or you can write here 127.0.0.1 okay so now <clears throat> in order to receive uh, the data from the server all you have to do is that you have to write here uh, socket object which is essentially soc oh, excuse me i have to come to the next line 
So if I save it right here, you can see that the color would change because this is a Python script. All right. So we just write here SOC and then we write here um, dot receive or ECV and then we can write here the size uh, which could essentially be uh, 2048 KBs. It means that uh, 2 megabytes, okay, this is the data um, that we can receive, okay. So this 2048 it means that 2048 KBs okay so you can also write here uh, 1 MBs and 2 MBs you can calculate the KB uh, the kilobytes of 1 megabyte or 5 megabytes whatever the address to you, you want to put here and then simply write here uh, in KBs okay the size and then basically we can basically print it out actually so we want to print it out so we we'll just simply write here print and then we can write here socket dot receive and the size would be two megabytes and after that we are all done we just need to close our uh, connection okay so we just write here socket dot close all right so we are all done okay so till now what we have done we have created we have imported the socket first okay then we have created the socket object all right then we have uh, connected to the local host on the port 3214, the port on which our server runs, all right, essentially. And finally, we have received the data and uh, printed it out from the server. And finally, we basically close the connection, okay? So now what we are going to do, so we're going to save it, all right? So make sure that now you have uh, two terminals actually okay so first of all you have to run the server file the server script make sure if you run the client file first it would probably throw you an error because the server won't be running at that time so you need to have two terminals okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna press ctrl alt t twice we're gonna have two terminals and on one terminal uh, we are going to run the uh, server script and on the other one we are going to run the client script okay so both our script they resides on desktop so we gotta be there on desktop so now we run here uh, python uh, server dot py we run it and now you can see that the server is listening right now and now we try to run our uh, client script okay so we write here python and then we write here client dot py okay we hit enter and now you can see that we have the message thanks you client uh, or thanks you are connected uh, to the server okay so this is the message and now you can see that it has basically given us a message that we are connected to the local host okay so i hope you have got the point you have enjoyed today's video so that video was all about socket programming and if you have any kind of questions please ask them in the comments below if you have any confusion make sure you uh, you comment below and let us know we'll be as responsive as possible so that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it uh, for written articles you can always visit our website linuxin.com and for um, free videos free video content you can always uh, subscribe to our channel uh, Linux and YouTube channel okay so thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video